So the manuscript is about an observation we made um, when we fed our mice this very specific diet. Uh, this diet contains all the nutrients that you normally find in a diet, so including all the vitamins, for example, but it didn't contain any vegetable material. When we analyzed these mice, and especially when we analyzed the small intestine, it turns out that uh, a specific set of immune cells that you normally find in abundance there, um, we disappeared. Um, when we analyze the diet in a bit more detail, when we put one component back, and this component is very highly enriched in green vegetables, so your broccoli and your Brussels sprouts, for example, this component, by its own, mixed in with the diet, was managed to regain uh, the amount of cells we normally find in a, in a, in a control mouse. Um, when we looked at the cells themselves, we found that these cells express a molecule that specifically binds to this component found in green vegetables. So they made a very nice association with the diet and the immune cells. Now the consequences for the mice um, is also quite interesting, because these cells are important in maintaining um, the, the layer of in the gut, a um, healthy layer, and are important for repairing this layer in case there is damage. And indeed, mice that have fed a diet which is very low in vegetables, those intestines are very vulnerable to damage. Besides that, there is a second important point to make, that is that um, these cells are also important in immune response, they are after all immune cells, um, and the components of the microorganisms that make up um, your gut um, are different in the mice that have no, uh, have no green vegetables and compared with those that have had green vegetables. And indeed, um, some of the bacteria that we find there are more associated with uh, damage. Um, we can extrapolate this to the human situation, uh, for example, suffering uh, from immune bowel disease. We think that uh, a vegetable low diet could be detrimental in, in such circumstances.